Cheers. Mm. Hey, Jeremy, what's up? Happy third. Oh, wait a minute. Remember when I would do this ahead of time? Because I'd thought about it. Beautiful. Now I can wish you a happy Thursday. Oh, man. Remember on Tuesday when I felt like, oh, man, I've got all sorts of time this week? I've been so freaking busy. It's, it's like not real work. It's like diplomatic work. It's like begging other people for some help. Please, can you see this from a support perspective? I know you're up there in your engineering ivory tower. And I'm standing outside. And there's a moat across us. But I'm a bridge builder. We gotta come together, baby. Some people are not interested in that. I can't blame them. If I were in, if I were in their position, I'd probably think I was a big pain in the ass too. Except, I'm an advocate. And I'm an evangelist, and I'm a I'm an ombudsman. I'm a lot of things. I'm a Renaissance man. I love this shirt. This shirt's from my wife. Thank you, honey. It is Thursday. It's uh, 5:43 p.m. It's early for me, but I got to get out of here. I have a dinner reservation at my brother-in-law's house where we're celebrating an early birthday because for his birthday he's leaving town. Always an interesting idea. I just got paged. <laughs> you don't want to know, Elise, but I will. Uh, I'll answer your tweet with my own tweet later. Um, 88 degrees, not quite as stifling, less humid, but still. Thank you. I, I understand. I'll pay attention to you in a minute. Still kind of hot and not fun being in our house, but. Hopefully by the time we're back at our house, excuse me, it'll finally be back under 80. All I had was an apple fritter and some coffee. Mm. And a very cold, fizzy diet Dr. Pepper. It's that Howard Jones concert. It just took this huge chunk of time that I didn't know I was going to be utilizing on Tuesday night. Although, let's face it, I would have been doing nothing otherwise. But here at work... It's been nonstop work. Work isn't about work. Work is about recording videos. <laughs> no. It's been too hot to shave. Which is probably some form of irony because if I shave, my face would feel a lot cooler, I think. Let's get to the W. Catch up on your comments. Of which there are many because I've been lax. I'm sorry. And after all that begging, you think I would have picked up your comments more quickly. But stuff came up, like yesterday. Ten minutes of me talking about... What the hell did I talk about? There was stuff besides Howard Jones, but now I can't remember what it was. Hi, James. We talked about that. Hi, Service. We talked about that. Where are we? Hey, Haz. What's up? What's up, Jeff? How you doing, Mike? Catching up on everybody. By the way, hi to Keith. Sorry. Not Keith. Keith is a different guy. Hi to Kevin, Mr. Plus One on Google Plus, and the only guy on Google Plus watching these videos, and the only reason I'm still posting them. Now, it's obsessive compulsive disorder which has me posting them. All right. The first comment from Greg, which I sort of touched on with my t-shirt, but that was it. Vader and Sid have appeared as raw throwbacks leading up to the 1,000th episode of Raw, which now takes place in, what, four weeks? Should Steve Blackman be a throwback? No. They're not going to go hardcore, so 
he was really you know he really found a stride in the company in those hardcore matches. Otherwise, he's just wailing a bunch of weapons that he can't use because they'll get DQ'd. So I don't know. Unless they want to do a special one-time-only hardcore match. And it's hard to do hardcore when you're TV PG at the same time. I don't know if I want to see Steve in today's WWE. I mean, I love Steve. But let's leave the memories alone. Other possible topics. LeBron James. No comment. Roger Clemens. Why is Roger Clemens in the news? Oh, the steroids thing? Yeah, I don't care. It was a weak case, and even if they'd have got him, what would it have proven? More NASCAR. We will probably talk more NASCAR very soon. More boiled peanuts. Try them already. Yeah, if I remember, I'll take a can to my brother-in-law's house, and maybe I can get the six of us, seven of us, my niece will be there, to, uh, I have a niece, by the way, did you know that? But there'll be seven of us in the room, and maybe we could split one can, maybe. I don't know. I think we're going to have to be really... My brother-in-law is such an excellent cook, it's almost a shame to ru ruin it with something like some preserved, canned, southern, possibly... Uh, I've forgotten the word. I'll come back to it later. So, I don't know. NBA draft. I am not as excited about the NBA draft now. And I think someone else asked something about it, too. Um, and now I can't find it. But now that many, uh, the Timberwolves, that team there in Minnesota, that team, I wonder how many of these guys are going to be around in a week. They keep saying Martel Webster is going to be cut. They keep thinking Darko is going to be amnesty. I don't know. But I wouldn't be surprised if somehow some of these guys get traded as salary dumps for other teams to use. But I don't know what we'd get out of it. But because we picked up Chase Budinger, Budinger, what do you say his name? We just call him Bud, right? But we picked up Chase for our number 18 pick, which I think is a good deal. I don't think we were going to get anybody in the draft who would help us now. And we're really more looking for help now to make the playoffs now. People to build around Ricky and Kevin. And Chase, I think, is going to be a good dude. Plus, I was the guy who pointed out that he was on Twitter. And he chose to retweet me to 21,000 followers. So whichever NBA player is the most recent to retweet me immediately becomes my favorite Timberwolf. And I'm going to get a number 10 jersey as soon as I can. A number 10 jersey that does not say Flynn or Zerbiak, but uh, a Budigar. So I'm not too worried about missing the draft tonight. There wasn't a big draft party planned for the Timberwolves fans, so they must have known we weren't going to do anything. We still have a second round pick, though. It may come back. We'll see. Prediction, you'll say some force the phrase, it is hump day. I cannot believe it, and I said this in the text yesterday. For the first time, and I don't know how many Wednesdays, I forgot to say it's hump day and that I hope you're humping, and I feel just awful about it. So today's the day after hump day. I hope you have been humping. That's some Cerebus. Howard Jones will not sell out. Mm, it's a pretty full place, man. It's an impossibility. No, I think you had to be there. I mean, it's it, it's a more intimate venue, but it wasn't so small. But it wasn't super large. I mean, it is a theater. It's it's a it's an old theater, but a theater nonetheless. He has an awesome live live show. I hope you go. I did go. It was awesome. I encourage everyone to see it. Friends in D.C., Texas today, Austin tonight. So maybe too late for you. Uh, there's a stop in New Hampshire, New York. I think that's it. Go to HowardJones.com to find out more about this tour, though. I strongly encourage you to see him when he comes to your area. Big G wants me to know that he watches my YouTube videos on the W, having to switch out of dial-up mode to see them in the thread. That's interesting. Have I ever tried a Tim Tam Slammer? That's an Australian thing, I'm guessing. I don't know what it is. I will look it up and... <clears throat> Pardon me. I'll tell you how gross it is later. He uh, was inspired by that because I was talking about uh, American Smarties as well as Vegemite. I do like Vegemite. Is there Vegemite involved in a Tim Tam Slammer? I wonder. Has predicted, I would say, I hope you're humping. That should have been a good prediction, and again, I blew it. There it is. Timberwolves trade pick to Rockets, so they have no first-round pick. What does it all mean to the T-Wolves fan? I hope I answered that question. James asks, do you really hope I'm humping? I absolutely do. How'd you really feel if I was watching a CRZ video while humping, mid-hump as it were? You have got to have better things to do while you're humping. 
If you do that, I don't want to know. On days like today, White Bacon wrote yesterday, do you miss central air? No. We have a window air conditioner, and it is great for the one room. So as long as that door is closed, that window is closed, and that air is on, it's very comfortable and fine. But I, we have a whole house, and I like to move around in it, because what's the point of just having one room? Then you're renting. So I guess I miss central air a little bit, but not enough to get it. There is kind of a setup you can do for early old houses such as ours, but it's it's not worth it. it. There's only about 14, 15 days out of the year that it's really necessary in our part of the world. Although with climate change, anything is possible. Finally, Pie Man reminds me that Howard Jones is only 57, and I shouldn't call him so old. Compared to me, he will always be old. I'm making him, Dr. Dirt, and AWA rules sad. Well... Two out of three of you probably watched the video, so I'm sorry. Hydrating and peeing is a large part of my workday as well. Too much information! I'll talk to you tomorrow because it'll be Friday and we'll close up the week. My time is way over. Thank you for watching. I'm CRZ. This has been 117, and I'll see you tomorrow.